Hey what's up guys my name is Opnish Shwaso and welcome back to the channel so guys in today's video we will see that how we can install and run any kind of operating system on a smartphone using the vectors app so previously i made different videos on how to run the windows operating system linux operating system mac os operating system on a smartphone using different methods and in this video we are going to add a new addition to that series in this video we are going to use an app called vectors with the help of the vectors you can install and configure any kind of operating system on a smartphone within few seconds okay so in this video i'm going to run the anonymous os on the smartphone you can see this is anonymous os and i'm going to install it and show you that how you can configure and install the anonymous OS on a smartphone within a second okay so first of all you just have to follow with me and you just have to download a vector app and in the vector app you will find all the pre-configured operating system image file you just have to download a pre-configured image file and just select it inside a vector app and you will good to go to launch any kind of operating system on a smartphone within seconds okay so before starting with you guys i have a small request to all of you just go to the description you find my instagram profile link just go and follow me and if you face any kind of difficulties there just go and message me i will try to help as much people i can okay so just click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon so you'll never miss any kind of this video so let's start the video without wasting any more time so here you can see guys we have a smartphone so the first thing you have to do you have to download the vector app and download the required image file to boot up the operating system on the smartphone so to download and install the vector app what do you have to do you have to go to your favorite browser so you can see i'm going to open the chrome and you have to search for vectors.netfly.app so this is the official site of the vector app so it will land you to the home page of the vector app so this is the home page of the vector website so here you find all the details regarding this app and you can see you can boot up kali linux windows 7 windows xp so all the different kind of operating system you can find here and you can download the image file of those operating system so first you have to download the and install the vector app for that just click on these dots and just select the third option okay it will open something like this here you will find two options so one is the vector vm version 2.7 and version 2.8 so version 2.8 is like a unstable version you select the first one which is the vectors vm version 2.7 so just select the first one and click on download so you can see it started the download process so you just have to wait here so that the download will start and complete so as you can see guys i already have it downloaded and installed so i'm not going to download it again so you can see in the download section i had downloaded it earlier before so okay so i'm not going to download it again so let me open the vectors app and show you the process i hit So on the first run it will show this loading app data so just have to wait here and it will ask you for the sign up and sign in so you can select a guest mode okay so once you complete that it will open something like this so first i you can say already imported windows 10 and anonymous was image file so for you guys it's going to open to this landing page from here you can see all the operating system like the windows os or the windows uh, older version of the windows like 98 or windows c you can see the android section the linux section the apple section Okay, so you can select any kind of the section and select any kind of the image file that you want to download. You can see I have the Windows 10 and ARM till the Windows 8.1, Windows 7. In the Linux, you can find the Kali Linux, Red Hat, Anonymous OS, Ubuntu. And in the Apple section, you can see we can find Mac OS 10.0, 10.2, 10.4. So all the uh, Mac OS uh, version which is supported here, you can see the Android OS that is Android OS 4.4, Linux OS. In the windows section we can see we have the windows ce windows uh, 2000 so what we are going to do we are going to install the anonymous OS first okay for this video we are going to show the anonymous OS. so the same follow uh, step we have to follow for all the other operating system okay whether you want to open the windows operating system or apple mac os so first what you have to do you have to go to the site again and click on this corner button and select the fourth option which will be the room option from here you can download the all the required rooms which is basically a pre-configured virtual machine image i'm going to go for the anonymous OS for this video so just slide down you can see this is anonymous OS. so just click on it it will show you this option so you can see so download size is 1.35 GB and the password of this uh, OS is ANON that is anon. So click on download. Okay and the password is anon. Just remember this password because it will require for you to log into this operating system. So once the download is complete, what you have to do, you have to open the vector app again and you have to select the anonymous OS. Whatever OS we want to install, just select it OS again and it will ask you to select the downloaded file. So just select it from your file manager 
and you can see it will show you something like this then after that you have to just click on that operating system and it will start the virtual machine so it will take some time to load up this operating system and complete the booting process so just have to wait here so this is the boot menu of the anonymous OS so what I will do I will open the keyboard and select the first tab so that is boot the anonymous OS live so it will take some time to complete the booting process so just let me come back once this process is completed so here you can see guys the booting process is completed so once the booting process is complete it will land to this login page so what you have to do you have to type the password here which is anon so let me open the keyboard and type your password anon a n o n okay and hit enter so once you can see after putting this password it will start booting up the operating system and land you to the desktop so i'm going to speed up the video here because it's going to take some time so just wait here so to save your time i'm going to speed up the video here so after some time it will land you to this welcome to anonymous os dialog box just click on ok and after that it will start processing again and do the configuration to start the desktop of the anonymous os so i'm going to speed up here again you can see this is the anonymous web desktop now once it is completed to boot up now you have to go to the application you can see you will find different options here like there are so many applications which will come pre-installed like this archive manager calculator disk user analyzer in the anonymous you can see you find the find host ip and different tools that you uh, will find pre-installed in it you can just have to learn like how to use these tools in the office you will find the libre office like all the libre office uh, versions like all the tools the graphics you will find some apps and in the internet you will find the firefox web browser tor browser in the system tools you will find the, the uh, different system tools i am going to open the firefox browser again okay i am going to open the firefox browser here so let me click on it and start the firefox browser So it's going to take some time so just wait here you can see it's loading up so you can see as of now the internet connection is disconnected so you have to configure it so i'm not going to open the firefox i'm going to close it and so you just have to configure the internet and you will start using the internet here so let me open the terminal here and run you uh, show you some commands So I will run the ls which is the list command. So we type here ls and hit enter. So you can see guys this is the ls command output which is the desktop and download which is the current content of the current directory. So I am going to run the htop which, is, uh, which will basically show all the running processes of the operating system. Okay, so as I can see the desktop is now installed so I can simply start the top which is basically a simpler version of the desktop command where you can see all the processes which is running in the background of the anonymous OS. Okay guys, so let me close the terminal and in the application you can see all the application is coming pre-installed so, so you don't need to be worried about it. You just have to follow along with me and just you will find this operating system running on a smartphone. Okay, so let's close it. So to close it click on this exit button. And click on shutdown vm click on ok okay so now you close these operating systems successfully you can select any opening system that you want to install and run on, his, on your smartphone using this app you can see the windows uh, versions so that's all guys for this video i hope you like it and if you are new to our channel don't forget to click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon so you'll never miss any kind of this video and if you face any kind of difficulties just go to description and find my instagram profile link just go and follow me and message me there i will try to help as much as i can so thanks for watching this video, have a good day, good luck and bye, take care.